Star Citizen, this is Alpha 2.5, I believe. I'll have whatever it is officially in the description, of course. So first I'm just gonna do a quest. That's gonna be the whole point of this video. This game is finally stable enough where I can actually consider it a game, uh, because it has probably the same amount of content as No Man's Sky, at least on release, and it's not even close to finish yet. So hopefully this game actually does come out. Uh, this game is also, per did I mention it's stable enough? I don't know if I did or not, but it doesn't crash all the time for me like it used to. So this is going to be nothing new to anybody who's played this game yet, but maybe anyone who wants to see what this game just might look like, maybe this video will help that. So they have some persistence inside of this game, which means stuff you do like gaining money actually stays now. Uh, it seems that they reset balances when they add a new major update because, you know, it's still in the alpha. I seriously doubt they're gonna let us keep everything we get in the alpha uh, when the full game eventually, in about 20 decades, gets released, but, you know, that, that's how that's how games go. Oh, there's actually a gun shop here? Huh. I did not know there was a shop here. I thought you had to go to the social hub for that. That'd have been good to know. Is there, like, a sign? No. Yes. Well, there you go. Alrighty, so let's head on out to my ship and I'll select a quest when I get inside of it. Be sure that you actually do have a spacesuit for this. I once walked in here without my spacesuit and died and was a little bit surprised because I forgot you had to pick up your spacesuit when you wake up. It's right in your closet. Alright, so let's head on over to the Cutlass. They kind of set up the star station a little bit like a... Uh, like an airport, so you don't actually have to worry too much about getting lost. I mean, they even labeled this for landing pad. I don't know what number I'm on or what letter I'm on, but if I knew, that's where I would be. Okay, so there's two ways to get inside of this ship. This will be different for each ship you have. And here's one of them. This is probably the cooler way. And thankfully, there were some other major changes to this game recently since the last time that I played it anyway. I think the last time I played it was all the way back in like... 2.1 or something, so many, many months, maybe even a year ago. I don't know how old that was, but the controls are significantly better in 2.5 than they were previously, and because of something that I don't think is new to 2.5, but the bounty system, where if you do bad stuff, you get a bounty on you and other players go hunt you down, I haven't had my ship blown up yet, and that was a big problem I had before, where I would go... Fly somewhere, I haven't launched yet, computer, calm down. I'd go fly anywhere, and someone would always warp in, blow up my ship, and leave, or warp in, steal my ship, and leave. And heck, they would even steal my ship when I'm sitting on the on the flight deck here, so that, that hasn't happened yet, that's pretty good. I also think just because there don't seem to be as many players as there were when the updates came out, so that's pretty good. So anyway... These are the missions. Now, unfortunately, if you complete these, these don't stay completed. I've already finished this one like a thousand times, but this one's pretty dang fun. But I think we're just going to go repair an array because you can take those down. I think people who have bounties like to do that. Uh, how do I get out of here? F1? So, we'll just take off Launch as soon as complete. I can. There we go. I need to push N. Dear goodness. Okay. We seem to be fine. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the controls for this. I don't know what that's about. That's kind of interesting. So, the flight controls are pretty good. I, I do have a joystick that I wish I could use more. I hope that they one day add more joystick options because currently, joystick stuff is just really not... It's just not that good using a joystick yet. A mouse still seems to be the best. So there's also three flight modes, and you push V on the keyboard to cycle through them. So right now I'm in CRU, which I assume means cruise, and I'm going 580 whatever speed units that is. And if you move that down to SCM, which stands for something else, this will limit your top speed to about 200 for this ship. I, I believe it's faster and slower depending on which ship you buy. I mean, I think stuff like the Mustang are really fast. And then if I slow it down, I can go into pre, which I can only assume means pre-landing. And this one's really nice because it just lets you be a lot slower when you're landing and stuff like that. I mean, if you want to see how fast cruise is, that's how far away the station is now. And it really didn't feel like I moved at all, but 
Anyway, going to that uplink normally on cruise is possible, but there's really no reason to do that. So we're just going to open up the quantum drive menu, and then that we do that by quantum pushing B, e, and then we can push F to select our destination and warp on over there. This does use fuel, but I don't actually know what happens when you run out of fuel. Uh, for the most part, when since it's an alpha, you can just basically destroy your ship and get another one for free, so you don't really have to worry about it. You can repair it and refuel it and do all that if you want to, but, you know, it's alpha and uh, not a whole lot needs to be taken seriously yet. So, if we remember when I was getting this mission, I could get a thousand credits for turning on this link if somebody doesn't do it before me. I'm also a little bit surprised there's not pirates around me. Around me. Oh, there they are. Okay, well, okay, that's not a pirate, but that is a human. Uh, let's just get upwards here a little bit, and hopefully they don't blow me up. It looks like they're leaving. So they either shut it down or turn it back on. I don't know which. All right, so we'll switch into the pre-mode here and just go a little bit faster. It's kind of hard to see <laughs> my speed right there, but we'll just head on over to this opening here. Now, previously you had to hold Alt F4 to get out of your ship, not F4, Alt F, Alt F to get out of your ship, and now you just have to hold F, which I don't know why it was ever Alt F, I mean, I remember sitting there thinking the first time I was trying to get out of my ship, how the heck do I get out, and someone in the chat told me it was Alt F, I'm like, why not just hold F, so finally... They, they must have played the game a little bit and realized Alt F was pretty counter uh, productive F holding F to get out it's a lot better. So we'll get on out of my ship here and we are actually in space. Yep, I did this in my last video, but I wanted to demonstrate that it is possible to do this without crashing now. Because I think I crashed at the end of my last one. There's still a couple of issues for this. I mean, I, I do get rubber banding every now and then, which... I mean that I, I, on my screen I'm in one place and then all of a sudden I'll warp like way far backwards, which is usually due to with lag or server issues, something like that. And then, uh, let's see if I can find this computer, there it is. Uh, the other big issue is it seems whenever I blow up ships my game lags like crazy. Oh, dang. That was already online. Can I turn that back on? There we go. Okay. Well, looks like I got a new mission to reduce my crime stat. That's not really a good sign. I've never done that before. I wonder if that means I get access to the new port, though. I believe there is a port a little bit ways away. Alright, if I could find the way out of here. T is my flashlight. Now I'm a little bit worried, because I think that means I'm going to have a bounty on me. It may not be high enough for someone to come hunt me down yet, but let's go see what happens when I go into the, uh, <laughs> when I go back into Crusader there. Or I guess it's it's part Olisar. The planet, I think, the planet we're around is Crusader. There's another planet, okay. So we'll slowly make my way back to my ship. I thought I was going to finish a quest, but it seems like that's not really going to happen right now. And they also made it where I can actually get in on this side in the uh, cutlass. I don't know why I can't get in right here. I have to, like, look at that part of the door and then finally it lets me inward, but I don't know. Uh, before, I used to... It, it wouldn't... That, that wouldn't show up at all, so they, they have made serious improvements in a very short amount of time. And even right now, like, I'm playing this in 1440p, settings are, they're either maxed or they're close to maxed. Uh, and I'm recording, so I'm not really, you know, getting a whole lot of lag for it, which is pretty nice. Okay, just gotta let my stip, my stip, my ship start up. Okay, so, I don't know, what does that say? Grim Hex, that's the one I want to go to. So it says obstructed, but... I don't know where else I can go to it. So let's head on over there. It's also, oh, there we go. Okay, I must have been too close to the station. Quantum drive is now so let's see what Grim Hex is like. I've never actually been here. This is going to turn into an exploratory video instead of a quest video, apparently. Drive is now off. Well, uh, there's Grim Hex over there. Alrighty. That is obstructed by the dang planet, so let's put it into cruise and just head on that way, I guess. I 
think you have to actually fly there manually. I don't think... I don't think I'm allowed to warp there directly. I remember somebody telling me that it's about a 10 minute flight or something to get there, so... Uh, we'll see if I can make it without any crashes, and I will probably definitely cut out the slow parts if, uh, <laughs> uh, if that is what I have to do. But it looks like, as we can see, I'm going as fast as possible, and my speed is, or my uh, distance for that is slowly going down. I mean, look at how slowly those asteroids are moving. <laughs> Alrighty, so I will just cut out whatever remaining time there is, and I think I'll take some time to look at some of the menus on my ship. Well, that was weird. I was flying by and I just died instantaneously, so I have no idea where I am now. I am definitely not in Port Olisar. This looks like a trash heap. What the heck? I don't even know what happened. I was in a menu and here I am, so that's just great. Alright, well, let's see what goes on. I don't know if there's really any way I can... <laughs> well, you're definitely not who I want to see. Is this gonna open? I doubt it. Alright. Alright, no. That was totally unexpected. I don't know what the heck happened. That was kind of annoying, actually. Alright, well, let's see. Where can I go? There's the exit. Maybe I can get back and reduce my crime stat. Man, even in space this long in the future, they still have messy places. Alrighty, well, can't take my guns out here. So, let's see how the heck I can get outside, or where the heck I can go to spawn my dang ship. Information. So they sell guns and ammo and other stuff here, good to know. What do you have to say for yourself, buddy? You look like you came from a hot topic. Alright, well I think this might be cause for another video, so <laughs> I think I'm going to end this one here. This is probably going to be closer to 15 minutes. I don't know where the heck I am, I'm probably going to have to just explore for a little bit, try to figure it out. So thanks for watching this Star Citizen overview that went totally wrong. It's still a really fun game. I think at this point I would actually suggest buying it to people who uh, who may think that they want to play this in the future if it ever gets released. I mean, it is still in its kind of early access garbage, and normally I resent early access games. You look at what Ark has done. Ark Survival Evolved, do you know how they have DLC now in an early access game? Like, are you kidding me? Uh, but I think this hopefully will be the eventual exception to that kind of crap, and it, it's fun. I mean, this is fun so far. There's really not a whole lot to do, and there's not a whole lot of story to speak of, and there's only like six quests, but if you just want to try flying around in a place where you can actually get out of your ship, unlikely dangerous, and it feels like you're probably gonna die, unlike No Man's Sky, then this is a pretty good game. I mean, it's 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 fun so far. Otherwise, just wait until it comes out. That's probably the best decision. Anyway, thanks for watching this video.